In Watch Dogs Legion you can recruit anyone in London into your hacker rebellion. And although that's an impressive innovation within video game AI, the response wasn't all that great once released. The challenge of having NPC AI that strives beyond fixed patterns and behaviors is that it also quantifies the complexity of making them believable personalities. Take this character I ran into, Fai Tung Lao. A former child actor turned living statue. And if that doesn't sound like someone with a story, then let's make sure to give him one. Since Mr. Lau is a dead sex sympathizer, we can ask him to join in return of a favor. Help me out and I won't forget it. One good turn deserves another. But instead of helping him out, I'll give him something else he won't forget. And since I have a schedule, I start stalking him after his recovery from the hospital. Showing up when working. That's fun. When dating his dead sack hating girlfriend. Do you need to stand so close? When mourning. Bugger off! All this just to test if he's still willing to be recruited. A lead tells me our friend is also trying to take down a weapons dealer in his spare time. Although not very plausible, I give him the benefit of the doubt and download some incriminating data of his target to help his cause and get him to talk to me again. Are you with that sack? All previous encounters seem forgotten or forgiven. And this time I do help solve his problem. So I can finally recruit it. Thank you. I'm ready for action. Well, we'll see about that. So action is what he gets. And I hospitalize him again. The second time. Even so, once back on the street, he's still ready to go. It's about time. Before he does, I just wanted to say hi one last time. But it seems he failed to remember me, even after everything I put him through. That either makes him have memory loss, I haven't seen something so jolly in years, or proves him to be very compassionate towards psychopathic behavior. Maybe because he's a psycho himself, able to single handedly infiltrate a corrupt police station as a ninja killing machine and later have his revenge. Funny, maybe. Immersive, not so much. The point is that the more dynamic the role of the NPC becomes, the more you'll notice everything that's out of character. And in Mr. Lau's case, there's hardly any correlation between his behavior once on the crew and his profile before recruiting him. I've met a DJ who's building robots on his YouTube channel, a sex worker who self-publishes romance novels, a former wedding singer turned street musician, but none of that matters. Once they are on your team, they turn into mindless minions that carry out the given tasks without question. They will never mention anything about their previous lives and only talk about their mission. The only thing that is somewhat related to their personality is the perks that remain in the class they are in. Meaning that a granny will never do a dropkick and that a social media influencer might have her own sports vehicle. That a risk analyst could have shorter arrest time and that a lot of homeless people have automatic firearms for some reason. So it's more functional as a parody simulator. If you want to free London with a bunch of yoga instructors for example. But not at generating interesting personalities. Still this attempt has much more potential to have a simulation able to generate less scripted interactions with depth. Than to keep relying on the beaten path. So we should at least admire its ambition to help improve the NPCs of the future.